Hey everybody, this is Craig from AuraPub.com. Today I'm going to dig into looking at the Log Rider 3 second rule. Now our goal is to see if that Log Rider 3 second rule is really true. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to operating system trace the log rider. So I need to get its process ID, and that's the process ID for my 12C instance. I'm going to do an S trace, which is a system call trace command in Linux, and you can see I'm going to redirect the output to the out.txt file. So I'm going to let this go for about 10, 15 seconds, and then I'm going to break out, and then I'm going to show you just the first few lines of the output file. And this is going to allow me to explain to you what the dash R option does. So you see the far left column, the numbers, that's a result of the dash R option. And that's how long the previous call took. So for example, you see the clock get time command. That took 0.000169 seconds. The first get time of day call, that took 0.000176 seconds. So it's the previous call time. Now let's take a look at the actual output file and we want to find something where the delay or that sleep time is three seconds. So I'm going to page down till we see a three seconds and there's the first one. You see the three seconds and that's related to this semaphore call. Now what we're going to do, we're going to page down again and see if we can find another one. There we go, I page down, there's another three second call right there, and that again is related to this semaphore call right there. So you can see Oracle is using this semaphore system call to actually get that three second delay. I page down again, and boom, there's another one. Now what you'll notice is that on a system that's very idle, you will see this over, over, and over again. Okay, now how does Oracle set this three seconds? Well, if you look closely at the semaphore call, you'll notice in on near the right, you'll see the three comma zero. The three is that sleep time, right, in seconds, and the fraction, I think that's in nanoseconds, is actually set to zero, so it's just 3.0 seconds. What's unique about this semaphore call is that while this process is sleeping, it can be woken up. So let's say if the database writer needs to tell the log writer to do something or a server process needs to tell the log writer to do, to do something, it will be signaled to wake up and the log writer will do its thing. But if it is not signaled, it's just gonna wait for three seconds, wake up, check and see if there's some stuff to do, do it, go back to sleep for another three seconds unless it's woken up. So it looks from what we can see here that three second rule is in fact true for the log writer and even in 12C.